Hello, people. We're up to part seven for my mentor roulette hell. I've been trying to make it a little less hell with talking about stuff in these intros and instead having it a bit of a different hell because some people have opinions. One of those opinions is what the mentor requirements are. This is the quickest way to know when someone has no idea what a mentor is or does. The current mentor requirements are kinda not the best. For battle mentor, you need 1,000 duties, 1,500 commendations, and have each role in the Trinity have at least one current progress job. For trade mentor, you need a paltry amount of collectibles and one disciple of land and hand at level 90. Not even complete quests. I'll talk about trade mentor next time because battle mentor has too much for one intro. There's a lot of just bad takes in what requirements should be. I've seen people suggest ultimates as a requirement, but the slightly more reasonable, but still unreasonable people say, savage should be the requirement. Genuinely, what point is there in making it that a mentor needs to do savage, besides forcing someone to do a lot of work to maintain their mentorship? Make it a job? Not everyone avoids raiding for lack of skill. There are retired raiders, people who just don't enjoy raiding, and so many other people who won't be going into raids. While I can agree that a lot of players only get that good after pushing themselves to do that harder content, and I fully encourage everyone to try going into harder content, this isn't a one-size-fits-all statement. Some people are already good at the game before they step in. You're gonna make them prove themselves just to say your personal requirements? Again, them being good doesn't mean they even raid. Then there's the people who physically can't. Players with sensitivity issues or even are actually legally blind. One of the best healers I ever played with back in the day is one of them. Chances she could handle raiding with her skill level are at least decent. The chance she couldn't handle it is equally high though just due to her specific blindness. She is just one person though and doesn't speak for all blind people or all impairments. Her skill is hers. Others might need to take it slow, need a little bit more help getting through mechanics. And this is in normal content, not savage and beyond. You want to lock them out? This still misses what mentors actually are and do. Being good at the game is not inherently required. Because there's this thing called knowledge, knowledge is a huge boon to have as a mentor, and you can learn plenty without ever actually doing this harder content. The stuff you can only learn by doing might not ever come to them, but this is a huge game with a lot you can teach. Way too much knowledge for any one person. A good balance of skill and knowledge is ideal. Of course, being bad at the game isn't the best look even if you know better. Knowing and executing on it aren't mutually exclusive. To call back on last episode though, we're not all perfect and it's dumb to expect us to be. There's still jobs I am not the best at either. Jobs I am much more prone to making minor and major mistakes on. Do I know better? I would hope my videos have shown I do. Can I execute on my own advice? Not always. Then, when it comes to the blind players, they can offer insight and knowledge nobody else can. Tell me, go on, tell me how much you know about accessibility or dealing with an impairment. Please, enlighten the class. You can't, can you? But hey, this blind chick that's probably a better healer than you will ever be wouldn't deserve to be a mentor because she doesn't raid. Not like her insight on how she plays the game would be useful to a similarly blind Sprout or anything. This even still misses what mentors usually do on a day-to-day -day basis. What questions do I answer daily? What stat does Lancer use? What's the best way to level up? Where do I unlock this thing? Help, I died and the game won't let me revive. What do I do? What side quest should I be doing? Our purpose is more to onboard players not teach them how to be goddamned ultimate raiders. The ones who do go on to ultimate, yeah, having a few ultimate raiders around to advise is good. All of them though? What point is that when the skill you're asking them to have has no part in running people through Sestasha for the 50th time this week? Let me leave you on one last thought though. What makes you think these ultimate raiders have any place mentoring anyone? What makes you think they'd be a good mentor 
a good teacher. People talk a lot about how people get the crown just to flex their ego. You want to know the kinds of people I met who actually did that? The Mentis purely flexing their egos? They were also wearing legend titles, spending most of their time bragging about their skill to everyone and giving bad advice. Again, it's not every ultimate raider having an ego, nor is every ego mentor an ultimate raider. But if we're gonna correlate one bad experience onto every mentor like people usually do, then savage and ultimate raiders should be explicitly banned from being mentors. It's that bad. The people you're looking to fill the mentor roster have a higher chance of being egotistical, one of the things people complain a lot about. Being a high-end raider does not mean they're fit to teach in the slightest. That was another long one, so let's get back to the main meat of the video. Me actually doing the roulette. Here's a list of duties. Spoilers are at the end and all. Please do give me a like, comment, subscribe, bell click, and check out all my other links below. Community Discord and Twitch channel included. I'll see you right back here for the outro. Alright, so I'm gonna be doing just like three hours of duties. If somehow I get more footage than I need, some of it will go to part 8, but... If most of this is all just part seven, then good. We'll see how it goes. I don't think I've done any ranged yet. So let's go dancer just because it's easiest. My range does not have like any gear, but it's 640, it's enough. And people will want to see me do, will probably want to see me do every job. At least I expect you people will want to see me do every job. If you don't want to see me do every job, well then, I mean, you could probably tell me that, but, like... And we need another 1,500 duties. If you don't want to see all the jobs and 1,500 duties, you're kind of weird. Whenever I get to recording more for Dawn Trail, I'm definitely going to have to make, like, some of the first episodes be mostly Viper and Pictomancer. Waiting on cue! Oh, wow! Temple of the Fist! Well, that was close. Did they even use, uh, Living Dead? Let's see if they know about the Living Dead trick. Well, they're not speaking on it, so... Oh, he's not going? Okay. It looked like he was still going. You never chain pull. Don't ever chain pull. Chain pulling has no no benefits. Only negatives. Nice. That was perfect. Technically, I don't properly say why, but this is a boss that demonstrates why you should have bosses in the middle of the arena. The four and oft and point and star attacks are all conal based, starting from the boss. If the boss is in the middle of the arena, it's far easier to dodge, and you don't get near impossible situations like I had. I still could have dodged, but because it's so far away, I wasn't expecting to dodge as far as I needed to. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah, they did it! They did the thing! They did the self-heal, and this attack is baited by distance. Oh, not this one. Yeah, that one. That's baited by distance. The furthest person away gets that. Why was the black mage so far away, though? I thought that was the white- uh, the astrologian. Got it! Well, I guess I get all the loot. Thanks. I forgot to calm. I got one of them, though. Let us see which we get next. Oh, no. It, I just noticed it's a trial. Hopefully not a bad trial. Oh, okay. That's easy. Oh, get out. Nope, I'm out. Why me? Do you know I'm the Monster Hunter veteran? 
Wow! What? One calm. What? Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is very not good. Why would you leave this? Why would you leave that instantly? I... Uh, let's actually do some machinist. I look so angry. Look at him. Look at him go. Uh, oh no! No, my nemesis! My nemesis! That's not good already! Give me the knockback, please. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. All right, let's see how much I can teach these people. Oh no, they're not listening. Three, two, one, dead. Oh god, all right, this is not good. Yeah, the black mage knew what to do. Cool, cool. And there they all go. This is clearable. This is clearable. I hope these guys listen, because this, this is clearable. This is clearable. We can actually do this. We can actually do this. Well, that's not good. As a note, when Shiva goes into paladin mode, this is a party stack. Turn the boss toward the party to reduce damage for everyone. I forgot to tell them about that. I don't like how this guy is chain pulling, but... At least we're getting pro somewhere. We might clear. We might actually clear. Nope. Never move. Why do they keep moving? I probably should have just LB'd. I figured melee would LB, but melees are dead. Or not. <sighs> but nobody left. Yeah, I'm taking the loot. I don't care. It's my loot. Foy comms. By myself, I led that team. The other people stayed silent. Oh, hi. How do I play? Uh, what really? I don't remember how to play bard. Bye. <laughs> but I walked over there. I, I heard that. <laughs> you ain't loot dumping me. You ain't loot dumping me. I saw that. You ain't loot dumping me.
Oh no, what le- uh, I mean, given- It's not even that bad. Oh, uh, they... Well, luckily the healer wasn't in cutscene for long, but... Oh no! 13 minutes? What is this? Oh. Good news, I'm on Bard. Bad news, I'm on Bard. Well, well, I mean, I was going to wait it out, but I mean, okay, it's hard mode. Oh my God. Heart attack. Give me one. Give me one. Please, 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 please. Give me one. Give me a thing. Shocker. And we got... Oh. Oh, this should be easy. Why did the Dragoon use pre-pull buffs like that? Oh, goodbye them. Hey, we found one of those bad mentors people talk about. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Why is it always Lapis Manalis? Okay, it's probably Guildhest. Oh, never mind. Wow, look at all these legends. Look at all these legends. Bro forgot his stance. What the? Weird? Why was that? I don't know if you could hear that on the audio, but I was hitting the button for Peloton and it was not registering. You can just pop flourish at will. I forgot that part. D uh, dude! Okay, I was about to say... If he goes after me a third time, I will be extremely upset. Stack of eight is KO. Three, four, five, six. Four, five. Yeah, okay, you only need to do it once. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to immediately turn small. Just just I love doing that. It's so easy. It's so easy to do. Oh boo, they're doing the coward's way out. Coward! 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 Go for the limit! Go for the limit! Psh. Coward! 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 Coward. You don't you don't bring them here. You go to them. You run for it. <laughs> Can't do anything.
Luckily, Dancer has a lot of healing, actually. I could have timed that carrying waltz a lot better, though. All right. Well, that's about three hours. Three hours, eight minutes of runs. Let's see what I got out of it. Wow, I got enough footage. I honestly wasn't sure three hours would be enough. Thanks for carrying, Shiva. I had to carry the explaining mechanics of everything. Meanwhile, it seems like Rathalos is the cursed fight. Both failures have been due to me ending up as the last party member. And while I have no intention of abandoning people who stay to fight, I am not running out a timer and sitting by myself in an empty instance. Just need people to actually, like, stay in the party. That aside, I hope I've been proving my points with this, explaining them well and such, but also been enjoying with the shenanigans I get up to. I've been having fun here and there, obviously, but hey, making the videos is for all of you. Do show your support if you're enjoying them though. Please rate, comment, all that stuff, show me to your friends, and come join me on Twitch. Take care, and may the power of an underdog slay waste to your enemies.